Hey YouTube, it's Michael Lambert here. I'm back once again with another reaction video. Once again, I'm reacting to Peep This Out in this video. Wingstop, Pure Mayhem, Chicken Sandwich Review, New Flavor, Peep This Out. This is the new one that he uploaded yesterday and I'm going to react to it right now. And if any notifications pop up during the video, I apologize and I will take care of them. Now let's get to this video. Well, here we go with round three when it comes to the all-new flavors here at Wingstop celebrating March Madness. And this one is supposedly going to be pure mayhem. At least that's the flavor name anyway. And I've got it on top of their fan favorite chicken sandwich. So stay tuned because I'm Ian Kay and you're about to peep this out. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian Kay. Stay frosty. You know, I never get tired of looking at these chicken sandwiches from Wingstop. And again, guys, the crispiness looks really, really solid on this. This one is definitely going to be pure mayhem from what they're telling me, at least in the flavor department. Let's break this one on down for you real fast. All right, so as always, let's start off with this nicely toasted bun. And once we pop it, you're going to see the usual suspects. It looks like we've got three pickles, or in this case, maybe two and a quarter. One's looking a little small there, but it's all cool. I don't really mind that too much because it's what's sitting on that I can't wait to get into. Guys, there are chicken breast filet over here, fried up to a crispy golden brown. And in this case, it's going to be doused in what they're calling pure mayhem, which is essentially described as their signature sweet and savory fry seasonings. So basically, it's like getting a side order of fries and whatever they shake into that to give it the extra flavor. That's exactly what's going to be on this piece of chicken here right now. So a little simple on this one, but at the same time, I'm sure it's going to be pretty tasty. Off to the side, and as expected, for dipping, dunking, or pouring, we've got a side of their house-made ranch. Always a lovely situation, guys. But again, coming back to the main star of the show, Pure Mayhem is the name of this one. Let's see how the flavor is going to translate overall for their fries. And let's just say I have some pretty high hopes for it, especially when it's combined with some ranch. So yeah, two pickles with the run to the litter thrown in as number three. I'm not really minding that too much because at least I've got two pickles to kind of cover pretty nicely what I've got here, guys. And again, the chicken sandwich is looking pretty great. I never get tired of looking at these. Fried up to a crispy golden brown. But the fry seasoning, that combination, pure mayhem is the name for this one. Let's just see how that flavor is going to translate. Here we go finally one last time before that first bite. It's the... Sorry, I had a niche on my head right about there. Sorry about that, everybody. Give me a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, everybody. The Pure Mayhem Chicken Sandwich here at Wingstop. Let's peep this out. It's exactly like you'd expect it to be. Yep. Well, right off the break, the textural difference between the soft bun that this has got as well as the crunchiness of the chicken itself is a lovely situation. And that's the main dominant flavor that I'm getting here, which is primarily the chicken. And then that fry seasoning, the pure mayhem goodness, comes up on the back end. But the chicken itself this time out is a little on the dry side overall, but still fairly tasty for what it is. So let's go for another bite on this one. And of course, we're going to kick up the flavor with some of that ranch. So hang on one second. Hmm. I got a little bit more of that pure mayhem, a.k.a. their fry seasoning in that second bite, and it's definitely elevated in the salt department, guys, because naturally it combines beautifully with their fries to begin with there with a little bit of sweetness. But I got to say with this, it's just okay on the chicken. I mean, the chicken itself is not bad. That second bite was actually a little bit more juicier than the first as well. But guys, so far, this one is just okay to me. Yeah, that pure mayhem, a.k.a. the fry seasoning over here at Wingstop, was a little bit more profound in that second bite, but still, it's a very strong piece of fried chicken right now, so it's kind of fighting with that in terms of the flavor, but it is coming up on the back end, and I'm definitely digging that, and again, of course, the quality is pretty nice on this. It tends to be a little bit juicier as I'm getting into it, thankfully, because that first bite was a little on the dry side. Naturally, we're going to add some more moisture to it right now, so let's go for a little pour on this one. Not too bad in that department, not too over the top, which I wouldn't mind either way. Let's try it with the ranch. Mm, very nice. Well, as you'd expect, that ranch definitely kicks up the flavor, but it also combines with that very strong flavor that I'm getting from the chicken itself. And then the acidity, snap, and crunch of the pickles themselves on top of that. And then you get the fry seasoning. So this is the weakest out of the three in terms of the flavor, which is not bad. Actually, I think it's really more meant for the fries to begin with. So I'm glad they have this offering. You know, colorful. Sorry, I had an itch on my forehead there. Sorry, everyone name or not it is what it is but at the same time guys it's very light overall considering all the other flavors that are a lot more dominant on this one but again it may come back to whoever makes the sandwich for you if they're more heavy-handed with the shaker naturally still the flavor is pretty good for what it is i mean it's still a tasty chicken sandwich right 
Well, let me answer that for you. Right, it definitely is a tasty chicken sandwich, and I'm glad to have checked this one out. But guys, again, the weakest of the three, but still not bad for what it is. So let's go for one more bite. We'll wrap this review with the rating coming up next. I might as well go for a little bit more ranch action right here. And uh, then we'll finish off this little quick addendum to the other main two reviews, which definitely offer a little bit more in the flavor department because they're a little bit different, the combination of goodness. But this is still just all right. So one more bite, and we'll wrap this one up. Hang on. Well, I'm not going to fault you too much for this particular one, Wingstop, even though it's a little bit more on the lazy side considering what it is. Aside from the colorful name, I mean, the fry seasoning is one thing, but naturally pairing it up with the chicken itself is a little bit on the lighter side because the overall strong feeling I'm getting from the chicken and the flavor, especially with the ranch and the pickles, drowns this flavor out. But what you do get of it is fairly decent once you taste it. So with that said, I'm going to have to give the quote-unquote pure mayhem chicken sandwich here at Wingstop a pretty decent 8 out of 10. At its core, it's still a very tasty chicken sandwich, but like I said, the fry seasoning itself is really fighting to stand out amongst all the other flavors with that. Once you pair it up with ranch naturally, the extra tart creaminess and the overall smoothness of that really kicks in. The snap acidity and crunch of the pickles on top of that, and then the flavor of the chicken itself completely drowns it out. But then on the back end, you get a little bit of the sweetness and a little bit of that reminiscent fry action, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but with a name like pure mayhem that's a little bit of a head scratcher colorful yes but in terms of the flavor in terms of it being crazy no but still a very tasty chicken sandwich especially when it's paired up with that ranch i would recommend giving this a shot at least once all right so now that my look and review of each of these limited time only flavors excuse me sorry everyone i burped the complete here at wing stuff as part of their march madness promo do me a quick favor drop those comments down below let me know which is your particular favorite flavor out of the three and if you can see yourself going back to get another one over and over again which one would it be and why drop those comments down below and definitely let me know and with that this is ian k closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on peep this out reviews bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel so i stay tuned for the next review coming real soon in the meantime stay frosty Hey, thanks for checking out this review, guys. But just in case you didn't see the one I did before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's going to recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya. Awesome video. I give it a thumbs up, and I hope you all enjoyed this reaction video. If you're all new to my main channel or my second channel or to Peep This Out's channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Give both our videos a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell to let you guys know when we both post. And share both of our videos with your friends and family members too, please, everybody. And on my main channel, we are on the road to 8,000 subscribers. And on my second channel, we are on the road to 3,000 subscribers. And please don't forget to take a look at my other videos on my channel's playlists. On both my main channel and my second channel. And give them a thumbs up. And share them with your friends and family members too, please, everybody. I would really appreciate it. And please help me accomplish my goal to get 8,000 subscribers or more on my main channel and 3,000 subscribers or more on my second channel too. Please everybody, I would really appreciate that too. And please help me bring my views and watch hours up on my main channel by taking a look at my other videos that are on the two playlists that are on my main channel. And give them a thumbs up. And share them with your friends and family members too. Please everybody, I would really definitely appreciate it. And please help me bring my subscriber count up on my main channel as well. Also, please everybody, I would really appreciate that too. Please, everybody, please, please, everybody, please. And I'm off now, so until next time, see ya.